Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Like I said, man, I'm, I'm, I'm down there. I'm focused. I'm hitting hard, fast. It's gonna be a problem. When you landed that uppercut, man, did you knew you knew oh, it was I done? <laughs> I mean, I knew as soon as I landed that. I mean, like I said, I was sitting up there. I was catching some of my small partners in camp with it. But... black out on him so so you know I just went for the kill and I wasn't gonna let him get off the hook at all. Hey, what were you thinking when you went down the second round? What were you thinking? What went through your head? Because I was just like you know when I went down the second round I was you know, I was tripping I was like damn because like I say the sun was in my eyes and as soon as the punch came out and it didn't hurt me at all it kind of just like just knocked me off my feet and I just popped back up I'm like okay here we go but like I said I knew I was in great shape and, and I knew he was gonna have to pay for that, man. So I wanted, you know, when I got off that stool, I wanted just to press him. I wanted to see if he was here to fight for real, because I was gonna press him every round. Hey, Berto, in the press conference, Victor Ortiz said he's definitely not retiring. You said he said something different? Yeah, I mean, like I said, he told me that in the ring, but if he's not, I mean, it's good for him. So, you know, whatever the situation is, you know, that's his business. How do you feel when he hugs you and he goes up to you after, like, what's, what are you thinking, seriously? Because your face is, like, all over the place when yeah, he mean, does like that. I say, like, tonight, man, I really just tried to, you know, like I say, I, this right here was my redemption time. Uh, I did what I had to do, but I wanted just to give him some closure and let him know, like, listen, man, it's no beef and nothing personal. You know, you're a good kid, you know what I mean? But of course with him, man, he's gonna take everything to the next level. He wants to go out to eat and hang out and all this shit. Hey, Berto, man, I, was, I had a chance to talk to Ward right after your victory, and now he yeah. said that you just have that natural ability, even yeah. more so than his, that yeah. he had to tell you how to really use it with, along with your yeah. skill, man. Yeah. Uh, uh, can you elaborate on that a little bit, that conversation with Yeah, Ward? like I say, um, you know, me and my man, uh, you know, Andre, we train together a lot, and, you know, I spar with him, you know, many rounds as well. And, and, you been like, out, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. How does that go, man? Oh man, it's great. You know, but at the same time, you know, he's so methodical. Yeah. Everything he does. He's very he's very sharp, but he continues to let me know like, listen, you're faster than me. You can crack and I'm hundred and seventy five pounds. Man, you're just so just athletic. You know, you have natural ability more than me. All you gotta do is utilize some things and do this, do that. You know what I mean? So like I said, we go back like I said, we go back and forth and we um uh, and we give it yeah, you know, we just feed off each other, man. Like I said, it's like my brother, man. So so like I said, we just work together and continue just trying to prove ourselves. Does, does he just use movement when you guys spar or hmm? does he land on you? Has he Hell yeah, he land on me. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, he lands on me. He lets me know quick. Like I say, man, Dre, he don't you know, now, he don't pull no punches, man. Wow. He, you know, he, if I'm slacking, he gonna let me know quick. And he gonna let, let me know hard. So, so is 154 you know? there for you, man? Uh, now that you're you sparring a light heavyweight, is 154 there? After yeah, I mean, like, my small partners, you know, my small partners, you know, for this camp were, you know, 168 and 160 and, like I say, 175. You know, I wanted just big guys, you know, because I didn't hear, because I thought he was just gonna press me out like yeah. he did the first time, but, but, you know, that wasn't the case. You know, but I was ready for, you know what I mean, just for whatever he tried to bring tonight. Now, one of your, one of your money punches is your uppercut. Yeah. What made you feel the need to go back to that punch? Yeah, I think, um, you know, everybody, they've been they've been asking for it for a while. And I guess it's been like, you know, I mean, kind of dormant. It's kind of been like in retirement for a little bit. But uh, but me, man, I just was using it in camp. You know, it's been feeling sharp. It's been feeling strong, of course. You know, for my shoulder surgery, I had to take some time off. But, uh... Yeah, as y'all can see, man, it's back and it's feeling strong. How's your shoulder feeling? Oh, it's feeling good, feeling good, feeling good. So as soon as I landed it, I knew it was, I knew it was gonna be a problem. So like question. Bird, you, you, you uh, carry the, the, the Haitian flag with pride, man. Uh, the, oh the yeah, for sure. To, to Haiti, man. Uh, for sure. Kids, I see the kids around you and embrace you, man. How's yeah. that now that you can go back and, and, and present them this win, man? That, that little. I mean, it's reception. love, man. It's love, man. Like I say, man, it's yeah. You know, I mean, this thing is just like it's more than just boxing to me. You know what I mean? I'm I'm out here inspiring the nation. You know what I mean? Like you don't really see, uh, you know, too much of you know positivity from that area because there's so much that's been going on. And um, like I said, I've been blessed with this platform. So and I got this Haitian blood running through me. So I'm a rapper. How do they you embrace you, man? When you go back with that, with oh man, it's it's a, yeah. 
like I said, it's love. I'm gonna have to head back, you know, actually like next week because you know, our foundation is is like building this big bridge for this village, and I'm opening up my first boxing gym there as well. So, so like I said, man, like with this, like with all of this, with everything that comes my way with this platform, I mean, like for me, man, it's it's, I mean, it's a blessing, and at the same time, I can't. I can't just keep it to myself. You know what I'm saying? I gotta give it to the people, and I gotta continue to give God the glory for sure. And you know, but that's just how I am, man. You know what I mean? So I'm head back to Haiti, open up this gym, and I think at the end of the month, this bridge should be should be finished. We're gonna go do an inauguration, and then you know, make sure the people have what they have what they need. Andre, uh, another fight of the year type candidate. Yeah. Uh, at the Step Hub again, man. What, what's it like fighting here? Uh, outdoor man. and all that. Yeah, Step Hub's crazy, man. I mean, <laughs> the the yeah, the besides with a in my face. <laughs> besides that, but, you know, I mean, you know, it's cool. You know, I love it out here because it's always exciting fights. I mean, I think we had a knockout damn every fight. This fight, like, it's crazy. You know what I mean? Step Hub is, 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 you know what I mean? It's where it's at, for sure. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Congrats, Thank you, Andre.